Welcome to our next edition of the Specialized Library Spotlight. I am Debbie Baskey, Acting Member Engagement Manager at Rails. Today, I'm here with Laura Turner, Librarian at Caterpillar. Welcome, Laura. Hi, how are you today, Debbie? Good. It's good to have you here. I was hoping you would tell us a little bit about yourself and your library. Sure. Uh, again, my name is Laura Turner. I am a librarian here at Caterpillar. I've been here about eight years. I mainly work in reference and collection development. And our library is called the Technical Information Center. We are located in Chillicothe, Illinois, which is about 20 miles outside of Peoria. Uh, we have been in existence for about 84 years since 1938, since the company's beginnings. We have seven staff members, five of which have masters in library science. And we are considered an engineering library because the items that we carry and the services that we provide are mainly around engineering literature and engineering tools. Oh, interesting. Um, who, who are the users of your library? Um, our users are mainly engineers and other people who work in technically related positions at Caterpillar. We do serve people in some of Caterpillar's other functions, such as, such as purchasing or accounting. Um, and our patrons are located at Caterpillar facilities worldwide. So certainly we have patrons here in Illinois, in the United States, but we also serve people in locations such as India, China, Australia, Europe, South America, and some other places too. Oh, wow. That sounds exciting and interesting. Um, what type of services do you provide for your users? Um, so our mission as a library is to pro provide engineers and again, Caterpillar's technical community with information resources, which enables them to develop better Caterpillar products and services. So some of the services we provide to that group of people um, are what you would consider your traditional library services, such as books and technically related journals. Of course, these are all on engineering, computer science, technical topics. We also provide industry standards uh, to, the, to our Caterpillar users. Um, another part of what we do is we call it managing Caterpillar's technical memory. And what I mean by that is our library manages Caterpillar's repository of internal reports and other proprietary technical documentation. And this documentation and in internal, in these internal technical reports span the entire history of, of Caterpillar. So you can read internal technical reports dating back it's sometimes to the company's beginnings up to now. We also have a third bucket of services that we provide and we call those our knowledge management services. And this has to do with developing information tools that help capture, secure, and share technical knowledge within Caterpillar. Oh, wow. Um, you probably, offer a great deal of services and have a lot of resource. What, what is one service or resource that you would be particularly proud of to have there? Well, one thing that we uh, feel is very unique that we have is that we have a very extensive collection of engineering books and journals dating back to the early 1900s. It's probably one of the most complete and unique engineering collections of its kind in existence. Um, it includes early works in diesel engines, material science, mechanical engineering, and it's not only a historic collection, it's an active collection that we continue to add to even, even now. Um, you can see in the background, these are some of our stacks. Our Dewey numbers are almost all 600s. So we probably have one of the largest collections of Dewey 600s that, that you could find. Wow. Um, and I would, I would say that we've learned quite a bit doing these videos about specialized libraries and why they're important. I was curious why you think specialized libraries such as yours are so important and what makes them so relevant? Well, um, you know, one thing that we hear here at Caterpillar is that the speed of innovation and technical 
technological development at this point in history is faster than any other time. So to remain competitive, companies really need to be on top of what's happening within their industries. And so special libraries like ours are in a really good and unique position to provide up-to-date information, resources in a timely manner. So, you know, as far as us and the Technical Information Center, our specialized library, we know Caterpillar's businesses and we know our engineering community. We're familiar with the engineering literature that's out there and we make it quick and easily, we make it easy to find and to find quickly. And we feel these are things that help make us relevant and important to Caterpillar and our users. Oh, that's great. Um, I have to say this has been extremely informative. I am familiar with Caterpillar. Obviously, I see vehicles and my son plays with the toy ones, which you have yes, right there behind exactly. you. <laughs> um, but I, I've learned a lot and I'm sure our viewers were will learn a lot as well. Thank you for joining me today, Laura. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you to you and Rails for doing these special library videos. We appreciate them as well. Take Bye. care.